Uh, but what you're doing is you're using self-evident laws and applying those laws to the data you get from your senses. That's how you know. That's how you learn things. That's how you, you know where you are now or where you were today. Or you, you take data from your senses and use the laws of logic to, to figure out what this data means. And these laws... You can't prove by other laws or by other things. They're self-evident. They're first principles. You can't get underneath them. They're just there. And these, as, I, as we'll see a little bit later, I think are grounded in God's nature. The laws are a bridge to the outside world, and they're between minds. What do I mean by that? A famous debate I may have mentioned to you, John Lennox, a Christian, a brilliant Christian, an Oxford professor, and Richard Dawkins, also a brilliant guy, he's an atheist. They've had several debates together, and if you really want to see a fun interaction, you just got to watch these two guys. First of all, they both have British accents, so they sound even more brilliant than they already are, right? And it's just a really fun exchange. But how do thoughts from Dawkins get into Lennox's head and vice versa? How does that happen? How are my thoughts getting into your head and your thoughts getting into my? How does that work? Well, you're expressing them. Language, you mean. Yeah, well, language, but how can I understand language and you language? Okay, we got this language, right? But it's not just language. There are rules of thought that are enabling us to understand what the language means. There's got to be some bridge, in other words, between our minds. There's got to be some bridge, a common bridge that we can both access. That common bridge is like a, 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 an unchangeable ruler, and those things are the immaterial laws of logic. Now, these are the three major laws of logic. You may never have heard them expressed this way, but they're real easy. What's the law of identity? The law of identity technically is called A equals A. This is a Bible. A Bible equals a Bible. You go, well, you have to state this. I know it's so self-evident, I shouldn't have to state it, but it's called the law of identity. This is not a Quran. This is not a Charlotte Observer. This is not a New York Times. This is a Bible. A is A. The next one, law of the excluded middle. It means there's no third alternative. There's no middle alternative. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. There's no middle alternative. You got it? That's the law of the excluded middle. There's no middle way. And then the law of non-contradiction says opposite ideas cannot be both true at the same time and in the same sense. You can't both be pregnant and not pregnant at the same time and in the same sense. 